morning of August 18th, we departed from Bozeman, Montana and headed towards Yellowstone National Park. Here we go! It was along the way, and neither Josh nor I had been to Yellowstone before, so we penciled it into our itinerary. Following our friend Colin's recommendation to visit Lamar Valley, we got our first taste of Yellowstone wildlife viewing. Driving all morning, we made our first stops for sightseeing. We saw a petrified tree, Wraith Falls, and took to the boardwalks to view the thermal features of Mammoth Hot Springs. We made a detour to look at some cool rocks, of course. I had me all over these rocks. Then continued on to the Norris Geyser Basin. How does it smell, Josh? Gourmet. So divine and yummy. I want to slurp it all up. <laughs> As we walk through the back basin, viewing the vibrant pools of contrasting colors and vents and geysers billowing with steam and stinking of sulfur, we felt like we were on another planet. Serene pools of stunning blues sat along gurgling pits of ghastly grays. The porcelain basin proved to be just as astonishing. <laughs> oh, look at the green. Yeah, look at the difference. Heck. Even though it's connected by water. Looks like a gemstone. We were feeling pooped, but had one final attraction to see for the day. The Midway Geyser Basin. Which includes none other than the Grand Prismatic Spring. and a couple other colorful pools. Then, we got our gear together and headed into the back country. Before we passed Fairy Falls, we had been surrounded by a dense forest, and Josh noted how it seemed like we were going to have good shade at our campsite that evening. Are we on a portage trail or a hiking trail at Yellowstone? However, as we got farther and farther down the trail, 
Much to our surprise, the landscape transformed from forest to meadow. I think we're getting close. So much for shade. What do you think, Josh? Definitely getting close. Cody 4. Here is our camp. The hike to camp was about three miles. We got a lone buddy in the field here. This is our friend. He doesn't have a name. He just lives in the, he's our neighbor next to our campsite. He's pretty cool. He was just rolling in the dirt. Now he's standing up. As we ate dinner, our lone bison friend, which we had named Octavian at that point, decided to walk from the distant dirt field right past our campsite and over towards Fairy Creek. What do you think about Octavian? He makes me very nervous, but we're entering his home, not the other way around, so I respect it. Why does it sound so squishy? It's During cleanup, he walked by again, this time practically through our campsite. We stayed as still as possible, and luckily he didn't pay us much attention. We got an early start, and as we were leaving camp, we were spooked by a set of glowing eyes in the distance. Worried it was a bear, it took us a moment to realize it was only our friend Octavian. I had picked our campsite based on availability and closeness to the trailhead. We had no idea we'd be walking by such a tall, enchanting waterfall. If we hadn't camped at the Imperial Meadows campsite, we would have never seen it. On our way back to the car, we made sure to hike up to the Grand Prismatic Spring Overlook, which we passed by the afternoon before because of the crowd. At 7.40 a.m., we had the overlook almost to ourselves. We also planned on seeing Old Faithful first thing in the morning, when it would hopefully be less crowded. We neglected to check the times Old Faithful was expected to erupt that day and merely showed up as soon as we could that morning. We could have had to wait over an hour to see it erupt because Old Faithful will erupt sometime between every 60 to 110 minutes. Yet, within about 10 minutes of us getting there and finding seats and getting settled, the show began. <laughs> Holy cow. Again, with minimal planning, things seem to have had a way of working out perfectly for us. Next stop, the West Thumb Geyser Basin. Another boardwalk, tour of pools, geysers, and springs, but this time we had a backdrop of Yellowstone Lake of the Absorcus in the distance. It looks so pretty. After that, we went to the Mud Volcano, 
then sauntered down the trail, taking in the rest of the hydrothermal features. Feeling fine, feeling fabulous, feeling fresh. How are you today? Can I get you something to drink? Here we are in the Haymar something valley. Hayden. 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 I told you. Down there you can see some buffalo roaming around, lots of grass. We've got Chrissy as our Vanna White right now. So as you can see, she's adjusting her hair. Things are looking lovely. <laughs> Perhaps the pinnacle of our Yellowstone visit was the Grand Canyon of the Yellowstone. Savoring the falls, river, and canyon from all the viewpoints we desired, we drove to the Artist Point wow. Trailhead and wandered back into the backcountry. Alrighty. After much deliberation, <laughs> the team has decided to head out. And by decided, I mean we actually know where we're going now. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Turns out there was a map at the trailhead where we needed to go after all. So thank you, Yellowstone, for helping us despite our lack of preparation and buying a map. <laughs> <laughs> we had intended to buy a Yellowstone map at the REI in Bozeman, but all they had in stock was a set of maps for $30. We thought about buying a map at the park, but once we got there, we realized each trailhead had a map posted that provided us with enough detail to get us to where we wanted to go. A little bit different terrain than yesterday. Quite. <laughs> Let me get it. Oh well. So if I set that down, is it gonna? Yum yum in our tum tums. Hey, off in the distance, and that little fox buddy. Oh, he just sat down. We descended from the rim and hiked through the forest to our campsite at Ribbon Lake. Dinner guest number two. We call him Red the Fox. Oh, he sprinted. The area, weather, and knife we found lodged in a tree gave us spooky vibes and put me a little on edge that night. I had a feeling like we weren't alone. The next morning, there was a haze and the sun eerily glowed red. There's spring. No, no bear seen yet. That kind of sounds right. Those definitely look like bear feet. I don't know. That's a lot of toes. Dudes want a cake, but they can't get a crumb from the original. <laughs> that is we appreciated our last few moments in Yellowstone 
then it was on to the next destination. The National Museum of Wildlife Art in Jackson, Wyoming. My favorite works of art are usually ones that have animals in it. And here was a museum where every work included animals. While at the museum, we learned that a wildfire in Idaho was causing all the haze. Your own? I'm just in vacation. I mean, that's... One more picture. And to their surprise, find out they're merely sculptures. We refreshed at a KOA in Manila, Utah, and had Wi-Fi to plan the next leg of our trip. This like the uh, the font from the Idaho fire. We enjoyed a nice quick hike in the Flaming Gorge National Recreation Area. Imagine the explorers just paddling down this canyon. Can you believe it? <laughs> what? Five hundred. <laughs> On the GoPro or on that car? We found ourselves a nice campsite in the Uinta Wasatch Cache National Forest that night and had a relaxing evening. I saw some cool rocks across the road, so we went to check them out. I was amazed at how beautiful and different each rock was. We explored Park City the next day and camped at Jordan Nell State Park. Just that one move. Show poopy. Show poopy. Show poopy. <laughs> and then we do uh... Oh wow. Look, that's a really pretty picture of it. Oh, I had solo. Oh yeah, you're right. Going down immediately. That guy looks like John Hayek almost. With the black t-shirt. Where? On the road. Today, we'd be seeing what Salt Lake City was like.
A quick hike up the living room trail gave us a nice view of the city and was a great way to start the day. <laughs> Not really sure what to do next, we went to the Tracy Aviary in Liberty wow. Park, and we saw a bird show. Trying to figure out where to sleep that night, we learned there was campsite availability at Antelope Island State Park, and it seemed like a cool place to visit, so we drove on over. The visitor center was great. Then we went to the beach to swim in the Great Salt Lake. <laughs> Swarms of brine flies were there to welcome us to the water. She's like literally shrieking because of the... Just sit down. No, no effort. Josh, sit down. Sit down, Josh. <laughs> Trust the soul. All life is waiting for this moment. Trust the soul. That's why I sat down. It's swallowing me. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Come on, Josh. <laughs> Sitting! Yay! Look at that, my feet are straight up. I can't keep them down, it's so salty. <laughs> it is, can confirm. Pretty floaty. Dude, this is nothing crazy. Uh, oh, 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 oh. I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. I'm floating, I'm floating, I'm floating. The birds, no physical effort. the birds don't like us. Like, hurry, quick, get the bite in while we can. The weirdos are coming. Sea monkeys, swimming in sea monkeys. Highlight of the trip right here, swimming with sea monkeys. <laughs> Simon, that's gotta have my feet only. <laughs> Uh. 
Yeah. Imagine sitting in there. Imagining it right now. That'd be crazy. That'd <laughs> be fun. Oh. I, I the always, spirits pick up the little one. I always wanted to play in a barn. I see 10. Yeah, jump around and do whatever. The Fielding Gar Ranch on the southeast part of the island, established in 1848, had us imagining what it must have been like to live on this island all those years ago. Camp included views of the Great Salt Lake and a pretty pastel sunset. <laughs> a quick stop in Orem would conclude our visit to northern Utah, and then we were off to the national parks.